So I am talking with Mr. Andre, who is the secondary principal about art education. What was your experience growing up with art? Were you very involved in it, or did it not really play a big role in your life? Um, it, the arts as an as a entire group, it didn't play a very big role for me. Um, I, I didn't do any, anything in drama or theater. Um, I never took any classes or was part of any activities. The same with music. I never played an instrument. Our, our family wasn't very musical, and, and I wasn't really encouraged to do that when I was younger. Um, visual art, I really liked, and I, and I took a, a number of electives um, when I was in high school, um, and really enjoyed that. Um, but I played sports all my life growing up as a kid, and, and that was the majority of my activities after school and, and outside of class time as well. Uh, so yeah, that's how I grew up. And have you noticed with your teaching experience that children who do art, what are they good at, or how do they differ from kids that don't do very much art or do more sports instead? Yeah, I, I think it's hard to generalize, um, but I, I, I would say on the whole that folks who are involved in arts um, are, are often well-rounded. Um, and I think that's true of folks who are, are part of other, anything outside of their, their academic classes. Um, and that maybe they have, they oftentimes um, have a, a, a more willingness to collaborate, to work together, um, to solve problems, and, and an ability to, to work with other groups and maybe aren't as, as uh, focused on their, their own challenges, but, but are, are willing to, to work through that. Um, I think I also see people who, who work in, in music and in theater and, and also in athletics, um, that they, they approach failure differently, um, more per perseverance and, an, and a willingness to, to learn from mistakes um, and to, to get better at things. I mean, if you're going to learn an instrument when you first pick it up, and you know, in, in very few rare, rare cases, right? But when you first pick it up, it sounds terrible. Mm -hmm. Or, or you're not very good at it, and it isn't what you had hoped it would be, but, but through time and practice, and you get that immediate return. And I think that happens um, in, in music in particular. You can see it in, in visual art. If you work on a particular technique or piece and do drafts of things, um, and in theater performances as well, as you go through and learn lines or, or different things to are blocked out physical um, pieces and drama. So. I think it, I think it um, changes attitudes and behaviors um, as much as um, talents for some, right? Okay. And a lot of the arguments that are made for the arts are that arts will help you with math or it'll help you with science, but I've found that if you want to be better at math, you should just take more math classes. So as its own subject, what sort of value do you think art has and do you think that it should be given a lot more weight or not as much benefits and drawbacks? It, it's hard. I think oftentimes when, when, when whether it's financial reasons or, or other reasons that, that arts get squeezed in terms of courses uh, and, and um, class time um, gets squeezed in many systems um, and then is seen as, as extra, extracurricular. Um, and that's difficult. Uh, for arts programs, and, and I don't, I don't think that, that should be the case. I think it should be given equal weight. Um, and to your point about um, to be better at math and, and to do music or things like that, there are relationships between and among different subject areas. And arts is one um, that has uh, connections to many different subject areas. So what do you think about the project that I'm planning to do, which is that I will go to the orphanage that the orphanage CNS group goes to mm -hmm. and teach a one or two hour art class to the kids once every two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. What are your general opinions on that? Um, I, I, that sounds wonderful. Is my, my general opinion is that, that that's a, a really nice positive thing. Um, and, and I think. One of the things that we didn't talk about, about benefits of arts, and I, I feel this way about sports as well too, is, is that in terms of either personal self-esteem and or um, finding your own voice in who you are, 
um, in, in arts more so than athletics for that last part. Um, but you can see that you get better at something, right? And so that's the self-esteem piece and that there's, there's no real shortcut to getting good at an instrument or becoming better as an artist. It's, you have to do it. Right. Um, I think it's different from getting better at math because you will get better at math, but it's not something as creative or yeah. that you have as much personal leeway with. You don't own it. There's a right answer in a, there's a math problem that you either solve or you don't, or you get to learn how to solve these problems or you don't. Mm -hmm. And if you were to grow as an artist, a visual artist, or as a musician, right, there are certain techniques and things, sure, but the music that is created that may not exist yet. I mean, there, these are things that, in, in I think, at the highest level of mathematics or the most abstract, that some of those things happen in a very rich, creative environment, right? And those are breakthroughs, right, in the science world and mathematics. But on, on, a, on a very personal, basic level in, in, in um, theater and arts and, and music, that, um, that we see that a lot. And people um, bring meaning to, to their own voice and priorities, who they are, how they express themselves, um, and, and anything that contributes to that. And so to go and, and do this um, in our class with um, children in the village school who may not have those outlets and opportunities to, to kind of play with that and, and work with that and, and figure out what they like and don't like, what they, you know, to, to do something and say, look what I made. This is, I enjoy this, but I like these colors better, or I want to make it bigger next time. Or, and and everybody would have a you know another boy or girl may look at it and say I want to make it smaller and more detailed, right? And just kind of the things that they enjoy and who they are. That's I think really the important. fact that they can make something too is very empowering for them. It is. It I'm is. Excited. Absolutely, it's wonderful. Good. Thank you very much for meeting with me. Okay. This is great. Thank you. Good.